ever wonder how some of the dental video is captured online? There's so many options today. So I was asked by a viewer to show how do you get your video online? And you know what? I've been wanting to do this and it's actually really simple. And stick around until the end to download my free microscope video capture guide, which reviews my experience with video capturing from an operating microscope. Okay, so just a, a couple things where I got started with videography or cam taking pictures in my residency. We had, I started with this PhotoMed G11 and it was a great, where is the G11? Yeah, it's up there. It's a great tool. It's super easy to use. That's where I am. My belief in life is keep it simple. So this was really good uh, at the time. And then I had this crazy, I made this crazy jig with this Samsung flip thing this is seven years ago i mean this is state of the art at then but uh we're a little bit beyond that now i think you can still buy them and this was a great great little tool but now of course using your iphone has made a huge difference and then in the recent couple past couple of years a lot of my video now is using this camera so this is an hd camera from global and it is bomb proof so what i love about global is that it's a very simplified system. And this HD camera is modularized. So I just screw it in and out and I carry it around with me uh, in a safe little Tupperware container. And all I need for this is an HD, HD output. So for that, I use my Magewell USB capture device. So these two things are critical, they go together. And you can see, I just plug it into my my microscope here, plug in my HDMI cable like this, and I plug in my power source, which is right here. And boom, let's take a look. So we connected our video camera to the scope, and now it's time to connect to my MacBook. Like I said before, I'm gonna use the Magewell capture device. It connects through USB, and after connecting my HDMI cable, I got two blue lights, and we're good to go. So as you can see, the feed through my MacBook is instant. It's like incredible. And I use the built-in QuickTime player to view through the screen. I also use QuickTime player to capture the video as well. It's super simple to use QuickTime player to record the video feed, so let's take a look. So I open up QuickTime, I click on new movie recording, and now we can see the screen. It's as simple as that. So you can see my hand, there it is. And here's a super cool dilacerated premolar. I'm gonna make sure all my settings are correct. I've got maximum, I'm gonna use my QUSB capture device. And the next thing I do is I just hit record. And now I'm recording all of this footage as you're watching it. If I need to rotate the image, all I do is I rotate the camera in the beam splitter. I love this dilacerated premolar and this is one of my next videos because it shows how, and again, this is where I'm showing you, this is a still footage and it looks like an incredible image. It shows how the actual apical constriction is nowhere near where the radiographic apex is. And it's like, you gotta re rely on your apex locator. This is just taking, a, I mean, I, lo I love microscopes. So taking a look uh, at a few different things under the scope, some floor core. This is one of the next video, I, another video I wanna show and just opening up Wave One Gold Medium file and just taking a look and seeing how clear the video feed is. And these pictures taken in this online residency manual, those, all those images are actually still photos from a video feed from this exact camera. And it is absolutely mind blowing how clear and crisp the images are. Okay, so just here's some stills of the video camera itself. This is from the side. This is from the back where the uh, HDMI cable and the power input. And then this is, you can't see really anything, but this is where the lens is. And this is actually, this is fairly embarrassing, but this is how I travel around with it because I go to a few different places and that's what I place it in. I've been using it for almost three years like that. Because this is a general dentist practice, my microscope goes into the closet all by itself. Poor, poor microscope. Uh, but I take my camera off it because I have another microscope in another, in another clinic. So I'm just placing the camera in. I actually changed out the binos because uh, I had to use the replacement pair, which I talked about in another video. And then uh, I'm just going to plug in my HDMI cable, place in my, turn on my power source, plug in my power source, and then off we go, we're ready to, to stroll into the operatory. This is just showing you how the cables are put through the arm mechanism itself, and they end up in this box here, and they've got a whole bunch of different generations of uh, stands and whatnot. 
And I'm just wheeling my scope down the hallway, and I know that it might seem goofy that I'm putting this, but often you never see what goes on behind the scenes and setting up an operatory. Uh, so I do have a mobile stand, have uh, a few of them for different places. So after I move the scope into place, I set up my MacBook and get it ready for video footage. And ironically, this is actually where the pus video was cut. I also forgot to mention that the feed also allows my dental assistant to see what's going on as well, because we all know that endo as a dental assistant could be super boring and it just helps keep them engaged. I wanted to briefly also say that the LED light makes all of this video footage possible. Honestly, it's a struggle to get good, clear video without an amazing light source. So thanks so much for your time. I really appreciate it. Don't forget to put your comments below, subscribe, share, and don't forget to download your free microscope video capture guide. We'll see you soon.